one of the reasons I would recommend you use um, uh, an authorized tour company like the Sightseeing Bus is because it's very hard, especially filming around Kampala. You may not be able to access certain uh, areas, you may not be able to film in certain areas around Kampala unless you're with um, an authorized tour guide. And uh, the Sightseeing Bus is fully recognized. And if you pull out your camera and you take something, it's very rare that someone will come up to you and say, ask you why you're filming it. So that's one of the reasons I am back on this side saying bus, and that's a, a reason, a very good and valid reason for you to come and um, use the side saying bus in Kampala. This is an experience that anyone can choose to take up uh, if you are around. So let me just show you around the garden. Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Mr. Msenguzi. If you are new here, please consider subscribing and hit the bell button to get a notification every time I upload a new video. Now today we are talking about the Buganda Royal Mile. If you know about the Royal Mile in Edinburgh, then you know exactly what we are talking about here. Now your Kampala tour will be incomplete if you don't get to learn some of the Buganda Kingdom history. It is one of the biggest kingdoms in Uganda and it's where we find Kampala, the capital city of Uganda. There is no better place for you to learn about the history of the Buganda Kingdom than in the Lubiri, which is the official residence of the King of Buganda, who is referred to as the Kabaka by his subjects. Now the history and what's inside the palace gates will be a video for another day. But today let's talk about the Royal Mile which starts right here where these gardens are. Now these gardens are open to the public and you pay only a thousand Ugandan shillings which is just a few cents to sit and relax next to the palace of the King of Buganda. Now locally known as the Kabaka and Jagala Road, the Royal Mile connects the Mengo Luviri which is the King's Palace to Bulange, the Parliament of Buganda. Now this mile alone by far offers the best summary of the history of the Buganda Kingdom and as you drive or walk along the Royal Mile, you will see a representation of all the Buganda clans and their respective role in this kingdom. Now Buganda's clan system is central to its culture. A clan represents a group of people who can trace their lineage to a common ancestor in some distant past. In the customs of Buganda, Lineage is passed down along patrilineal lines. The clan essentially forms a large extended family and all members of a given clan regard each other as brothers and sisters regardless of how far removed from one another in terms of the actual blood ties. Now just halfway between the royal palace and the parliament is an interesting roundabout where only the Kabaka is allowed to drive through. The concept of this monument was based on the most popular musical instrument in Uganda, the drums. Now this long drum known as Ngalavi is popular in the different Chiganda dances and was selected due to its length and unique shape. The Kabaka's roundabout has a special cleaner to keep it clean, a gate that is always locked and a guard on standby to open when the Kabaka is nearing to go through the gate and they can close it after the Kabaka has passed through. The Buganda Kingdom has both a TV and radio station which are both hosted next to the parliament of the Buganda Kingdom. From this hill we move on to Rubaga, which once had the Kabaka's palace, but currently we find St. Mary's Cathedral Rubaga, commonly known as Rubaga Cathedral. It is the parent cathedral of the Roman Catholic Archdiocese of Kampala and the oldest Roman Catholic diocese in Uganda. So we are stopping here at uh, Rubaga, Rubaga Cathedral, and this is the first Catholic uh, church in uh, Uganda and as you have if you've been watching my videos you might have realized that I have a video about this particular place some time back I'll leave the link in the description or I'll leave a card here for you to see that video it's uh, very detailed it has all the information you might want to know about uh, this particular cathedral it's a uh, quite a uh, beautiful cathedral. If you look at it, uh, it really looks beautiful and uh, we see a portrait of a uh, precious sculpture of Mother Mary uh, right here. Now as you already know we are on the Kampala sightseeing bus and as we move from one hill to the other we drive around some of the streets of Kampala. So as we head out to check out some of the streets of Kampala 
thank you so much for watching this video and if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe and check out some of my other videos as i bring you more informative videos on my youtube channel